So, um, this is summer. <laughs> Summertime in Ireland. We're just sitting outside in the only barely chilly wind with our like jumpers and now it's full on rain hitting us in the face. Yeah, so welcome to Scaries. Yeah, we're here for another episode of We're to Live in Ireland and we're just taking a little walk here. Yeah, when we're a bit more dry, you're gonna see us again. And that, my friends, if you're watching this in 2023, was a year ago. It was a rather rainy day and we didn't get much footage so we never actually finished. But good news is that we did go back with some friends during the summer so we've got enough stuff to finish the video, albeit just with a voiceover. So this video is best places to live in Scaries and a day trip but first we're wine and rum, two experts living in Ireland and we do lots of videos about what it's like to live here so make sure to subscribe for more videos. Scaries is a seaside town that is luckily located right on the dart. I've said lots of times before that I'm a bit biased towards places that are close to the ocean. I think living by the coast just makes living there better. But especially Ireland seaside. You've got the rugged coast, the big tides that let you walk on places that were covered by the sea just hours ago. And on a sunny day, beautiful. It just never gets old. But before you get to the sea, you've got a little walk into the town. And that is where you notice a windmill. Scary's mills. Last year we decided to see it up close and head down the courtyard. It was a delicious lunch before we continued on our walk. Fresh sandwiches, a coffee and a cuppa. Almost anywhere the rum goes in Ireland and there's carrot cake on the menu. He has to try it. Yeah, I don't know what it is, but I think like Ireland has some of the best carrot cake I've tasted. As you walk towards the town centre, you get a suburban feel with the houses lining each side of the road. We did pass some playing fields, which on the previous time we were there were full of children practicing. But as you get deeper in, you start seeing a handful of shops popping up. And along with some other older design buildings, you also see this very cool house that stands out with a thatched roof. I'm sure there's some sort of story there, but you know, if someone knows what it is, yeah, do tell us. I'm not sure if someone is living there or if it's just used or even what it's used for, but it looks very nicely preserved. We bypassed the main street and went straight for the beach. On a sunny day, you can join family sitting and relaxing at the sandy beach. I don't know how crowded the beach can get, but there were comparatively little people. Maybe also because the beach is so long. You've got amazing scenery, whether it's raining, high tide or low tide. Watching the islands off in the distance, or even the mountains, those would be the Morn Mountains, if I pronounce them correctly, in Northern Ireland. Yes, you can see Northern Ireland from Scaries. How cool is that? From the beach, you can walk up these stairs and it kind of like continues on this path that's kind of in this green area. And whether it's a bright or gloomy day, I think it's one of my favorite places in Scaries for just walking and enjoying. Especially when it's low tide, you can like go to the little tidal pools and discover tiny wildlife in the ponds. Yay! I think seeing this metal ice cream sculpture was enough to turn on our childlike wonder and cause one of our friends to climb the Moria Mon Monument. This monument was put there to kind of commemorate the souls and ships lost at sea. No worries, this sea pole is actually meant to be climbed. And I'm very glad he didn't fall down because I wasn't going to be able to help him in that situation. Whether old or young, we also enjoyed sitting outside with some ice cream in front of one of the many restaurants and just viewing the street full of people, restaurants, cafes and the harbour. And also, of course, since we're by the seaside, get some fish and chips. Now, on a nice summer day, it's packed with people. And I definitely don't mind the vibe of the children, parents, families, friends, anyone. Just gathering together, enjoying the good food and sunshine. Our time in Scaries was short. The town centre doesn't feel huge, but it seems easy to get to from the surrounding suburbs. It does give off the air of a posher, more middle-class income kind of area, where you'd want to settle down and have a family. Not that we were planning to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I did not tell her to put in that warning, but hey. Yeah, the area seems generally walkable. Um, while we were there, we saw some GP offices, pharmacies, of course, the sporting grounds, even a couple of Montessori's there. Seems definitely like the kind of place where you could get to know your community. You might head down into the town center on a day, just relax and be social. Even though we spent a short time there, I think the fact that every year we keep returning means that it does have a little special place in our hearts when we want to relax on a sunny day. It's definitely a place that you need to just go see and feel the vibe. But yeah, I do recommend on a sunny day, head up to Scaries. And if you enjoyed this video, we also have a playlist of other places like this we've visited. And make sure to subscribe to see more videos like this. Let us know in the comments where we should go next. Until next time, bis später. Bye.